We feel it's important for the agricultural community to take a proactive step to address some of the concerns of the general population. I mean, we make a livelihood off of this environment and we understand that we have to take care of it, but the public doesn't always understand that what we do is actually taking care of the environment and not abusing it. It's a lot of pride in just this township. I believe we have about a dozen meat verified farms. Our, our summer neighbors, which are uh, not year-round residents by definition, uh, you know, take a lot of pride in seeing, uh, seeing our farm where they like to visit and so forth, holding that designation. I've got a lot of neighbors and I've, I'm a mile, less than a mile from the city of Mason. And so those, I don't want anybody coming to my door and saying, hey, this is, this is awful, I'm taking you to court. I think that's our, uh, our big motivator there is staying out of litigation. We could win, but it might cost us several thousand dollars to prove that we're, we have the right to farm. This is the way that we saw that agriculture needs to go. Uh, keeping up its commitment to our communities and, and also keeping sustainability uh, possibility in agriculture. The Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program, or MEEP, is a voluntary comprehensive program designed for all Michigan farmers. MEEP is a proactive voluntary program that assures conservation and environmental protection, as well as the protection of the farmer through compliance with state and federal regulations. The livestock system provides an opportunity for any size livestock operation to complete verification. The livestock system utilizes the Comprehensive Nutrient Management Plan, or CNMP, as well as the Livestock Assist as the assessment tool. I want to leave the land better than what I got it. I want to make sure it's environment clean, free, and the neighbors are happy, and that my kids and grandkids can be here and they can go on. That's, that's what started it, and I just want to do a good job. I, I want to make sure everything is done, that we don't harm the environment, and that we can stay and be good stewards of the land. It's a great management tool, uh, like on your um, fertilizer needs and stuff. I mean, we, we get our soil, soil tested um, before and after, and uh, we put on what we need to. Uh, this area here has not had a lot of manure for the last 40 years, so uh, our ground has a lot of room for manure. For an example, uh, where I put my corn, uh, I don't have to buy fertilizer. I got enough manure there to grow a crop. The one thing I like about it is it, it does help the farmer realize whether there are, is any shortfalls in his program that he wasn't aware of. Ultimately, our goal is to make sure they're in conformance with all applicable laws and regulations as well as the right to farm generally accepted agricultural management practices. We've done everything possible with the technology that we know and with the help that we have to protect the environment. And that's what's telling the public in that we have the record that any time they want to stop in or anybody else, we can show them that we have all the soil sampling, we can tell them when we spread manure, we can show them that we have did it in a proper way and, we, and that we have everything that's under records. The Farmstead system provides an opportunity for any type or size farm to complete meat verification. The Farmstead system utilizes the Farm Assist as the assessment tool. Groundwater stewardship, what they're interested in is enabling you to see what the problems are so you can correct them. There is no area where this information is going to be passed on for that. And that's a big, big point that people have a misconception about. The only thing they're going to do is come identify areas that are possible point source problems and then help you correct it. In the groundwater stewardship program, the nice thing about it is, is they offer incentives. They offer irrigation scheduling, spray nozzles, um, mixed load pads, things of this nature where you can actually go in. They'll partially fund that practice, so they'll help you along with that. But then the other part is it's not a giveaway in the sense that they're going to give you irrigation scheduling so you'll keep doing it for 30 years. We had done the pharmacist program through the groundwater stewardship program, so that made the farmstead verification with me uh, fairly painless. We had a few small things that we had to change and improve, and uh, that was good. It just makes us better. I don't mind that type of uh, uh, input. Complete a farmstead assessment with, with growers, with producers, and take a look at the risks on the farm and evaluate um, things that could be changed to reduce some risks, uh, things such as uh, agrochemical containment facilities 
and uh, where they mix and mix load and, and store their chemicals, um, setbacks from wells, um, things of that nature. So, and the pharmacist is pretty detailed, goes through everything on the farm, and uh, covers pretty much everything. Um, make sure that they're in compliance with Right to Farm, generally accepted ag management practices, and other state and federal regulations. We felt we needed some help. It's not like in corporate America where we had compliance people uh, running around. We're small business now and uh, we need some help. And the MEEP program gave us a roadmap to follow for the end of being MEEP designated. This was built with uh, cost sharing with the uh, EQIP fund. And this was an important part of our farmstead verification process through the MEEP program. We have uh, secondary containment here with a liner in it. We have a loading pad where our nurse tank goes in on a uh, impenetrable surface where there's no chance of leaking or uh, anything like that. And we fill our nurse tanks there. So we're, we're real good and safe, environmentally sound on our fertilizer storage. It's been the best thing we've done for our farm. We've uh, addressed many, many issues, like a containment shed here behind me, um, fuel storage, uh, wind breaks, the list goes on. I mean, we've done a lot of different things to address environmental issues. The cropping system is for Michigan row crop farms and features specialized assessment tools for the state's specialty crops, including the fruit, vegetable, greenhouse, and nursery industries. This system provides all farmers in Michigan the opportunity to become meat verified and participate in pollution prevention, right to farm compliance, and industry promotion. We didn't want to have the easiest way for a farmer to get a sign on as long. We wanted to really have practices that are protective of the environment. So in achieving that goal, I think what it means for, for agriculture is that uh, you know, these farms, it's going to be uh, clean water, clean soil, clean air around these farms. The Crop Assist, which is the uh, risk assessment tool that we're using in the cropping system, is an environmental risk assessment that looks at field-based practices. We're looking at nutrient management, pest management, and if you have irrigation, uh, irrigation, uh, pasture management, and looking at the farmer's practices that he is currently using and providing recommendations or assistance in developing lower risk practices that are going to be uh, beneficial to the environment but also uh, profitable for the farmer. One of Michigan's most valuable resources is its water and agriculture can have an impact on water if we don't manage nutrients, pesticides, and manures properly. This assessment will assist farmers to determine if they're doing things correctly and if they need to make some minor changes, this will help them do that and protect the water resources in the state of Michigan. The verification, again, is going to be sitting down uh, with your records, your, your soil testing records, uh, uh, you know, what, what you've done on, on that farm, and then verifying that you're following that plan that's put in place for your operation. It's a lot, of, a lot of paperwork to put together, and I spent almost three years doing it for the whole three systems. Now it's just updating every year, or not every year, it's basically every, every week, you know, we're keeping track of what we're doing, like, uh, you know, if we harvest a field, or if we plant a field, or spray a field, it just gets recorded, so. Down the road, if there is a problem, you know, on our farm, or a complaint or something, we've got all the records and stuff to back it up, what we have did, and, follow the guidelines. Once Mike was verified under the livestock system and once he had his comprehensive nutrient management plan, he had most everything in place that he needed to go through the cropping system. The additional things we looked for in the cropping system would be records of pesticide and fertilizer applications made to the ground, uh, as well as field specific maps that showed setbacks from surface waters. You have certain chemicals, atrazine for example, that require setbacks 66 feet from surface water. We made sure that Mike had fields that actually showed those setbacks. There are certain chemicals that require distances from groundwater. They need to be at least five or seven or 10 feet from groundwater. In that case, on a field by field basis, if those chemicals were used, we wanted to make sure that it was noted that they couldn't be used on fields that had higher groundwater levels, that the groundwater levels were in fact below the necessary requirements to utilize those chemicals. I think the key thing about the meat verification is that this whole effort is voluntary. It didn't take a law to be passed, it didn't take a rule to be made, 
if it's a voluntary program where producers are stepping up and saying they want to do the right thing by this generation and future generations. And this recognizes Sawyer Nursery for being a meat verified farm, joining that 10,000 uh, other producers that have participated in the program, a thousand that have made it this far to be meat verified. Thank you very much for doing this work. We're sure you're going to continue in the future. Thank you very much.